Hello everyone. Uh, this next game is also brought to you as a suggestion uh, from from one of the subscribers, and uh, he just wrote that I should do a game by Karl Schlechter, and uh, well, I decided to do so uh, since uh, he was a pretty strong player. He was an Austrian chess master and a theoretician, and uh, well, although this game is played in 1899, in uh, 19 and 10 he almost became world champion as he played uh, the world championship match against Emmanuel Lasker. And it was a it was a very uh, tight match. Uh, uh, the the match ended five to five. I think it was uh, it was uh, both of them had one win and uh, eight draws. Uh, but Schlechter actually had a winning position in the last game they played. But uh, then he blundered the position into a draw, and then he blundered again into a losing position. So yeah, uh, very unfortunate event for Karl Schlechter. Uh, but uh, you know. Uh, Emmanuel Lasker was a, an extremely strong guy. He did hold the world championship title for 27 years. Uh, but this game is uh, not against Emmanuel Lasker. This game is against uh, Philip Mietner. Uh, like I said, played in uh, 1899, and it was uh, it was uh, one of the more interesting games I could find by played by Karl Schlechter. So let's see the game. Schlechter is uh, Schlechter is white, and uh, uh, Philip Mietner is black. We have e4. Uh, and yeah, it's featuring a very, very interesting variation in the Italian game. Uh, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, uh, bishop to c4, bishop to c5, the Italian game. Uh, c3, knight to f6, we have d4, e captures on d4, c captures on d4, and bishop to b4 check. And now uh, Schlechter plays a knight to c3, inviting black uh, to go for the Greco attack. I mean to allow white to go for the Greco attack. So uh, Philip does. Uh, he plays the knight captures on e4 and Schlechter castles. And uh, well, uh, it's obvious that uh, Black can win a pawn here. Uh, if Black would play something like knight captures on c3, b captures on c3, and bishop captures on c3, then this would be the main line of the Greco attack, and uh, no one, well, who knows how to play chess, would ever be caught dead playing this with the Black pieces. As uh, White can play here, queen to b3. Now attacking this bishop on c3 and also the f7 pawn. And if the rook is captured, simply bishop captures an f7 check, king to f8, bishop to g5, attacking the queen. So only move would be knight to e7 and then rook to e1, and this is, well, uh, impossible to play for black. This is completely winning for white. Uh, so after Schlechter castled, uh, Mietner decided to play bishop captures on c3. But this is also kind of kind of a line of the Greco attack. We have uh, d5 now, uh, knights to e5, and now b captures on c3. Uh, knight captures on c4, and queen to d4, now attacking both knights. So Mietner plays uh, f5, and the queen captures on c4. Uh, d6, uh, knight to d4, now preparing to jump to this powerful e6 square. Uh, we have a uh, castle, f3, kicking that knight, knight to f6, bishop to g5, h6, uh, bishop to h4, uh, g5, bishop to f2, and now king to g7, uh, getting the king out of this pin, well, uh, sort of an x-ray pin, but uh, uh, still the king is safer on g7. So we have rook f to e1, uh, bishop to d7, Queen to b3, attacking b7 pawn, c5. Uh, we have uh, d captures on c6, uh, b captures on c6, <clears throat> and now knight to e6 check. Uh, this kind of forks the king and the queen, so the bishop has to capture the knight. We have bishop captures on e6, and rook captures on e6. Uh, queen to d7, and now rook to d1, attacking this e6 pawn. Uh, so we have knight to d5, uh, bishop to d4 check, uh, king to h7. Uh, rook, uh, rook uh, d to e1, uh, rook a to e8, uh, rook captures on e8, rook captures on e8, rook captures on e8, and queen captures on e8. And uh, if you look at this position, uh, black is, although although black's position is a bit drafty, and uh, well, black is a pawn up, and with precise play, black could probably probably win this or or at least hold to a draw. Uh, but uh, we have an interesting move by Schlechter. He plays a queen to b7 check. And now, uh, obviously, uh, obviously, Mietner cannot play a king to g8, as a queen to g7 would be instant checkmate, since this bishop is guarding g7. So Mietner plays a king to g6. Uh, Schlechter plays queen to g7 check. Uh, we have king to h5. And now uh, h3. <coughs> and, uh, well, 
this king is a bit uncomfortable, but it's black's move, and black should uh, do something to prevent any ideas from white. Uh, but uh, Meitner decided that this g4 move uh, isn't really doing anything, since uh, black can simply simply play king to h4 and then king to g3. You know, uh, there isn't a threat here, really. Uh, so he played uh, queen to e6. Uh, but this allows a, a beautiful combination by Schlechter, as uh, Meitner completely missed it, and he, he indeed does play g4 check. Uh, but you'll see, you'll see his idea. If you can find the idea, then uh, you should definitely try and uh, pause the video and you know, s see if you can figure this out by yourself. And uh, if you managed, I congratulate you, as always. Uh, and if not, here is what Schlechter had in mind. Uh, Mitner played F captures on G4. We have H captures on G4 and now King to H4. And now the move Schlechter had in mind, it's uh, queen captures on h6 with check. A very nice queen sacrifice and, uh, well, the queen, the queen has to be captured. If the king goes to g3, then simply queen captures uh, the entire queen on e6. So queen captures on h6. And now a very nice move by Schlechter, king to, king to h2. And uh, this is completely winning. He cuts off any squares for this uh, black king to go to. And, uh, well, the threat of bishop to f2 checkmate is unstoppable. Well, you, you you could stop it for one move by playing knight e3, but then it would be the same checkmate every move uh, uh, in the next move. So yeah, uh, a very nice game by Karl Schlechter. Uh, he was a very, a very, very strong player, and uh, like I said, he de he defeated Lasker a couple of times and uh, drew drew a lot of games against Emmanuel Lasker, and he defeated a lot of strong players uh, during his time. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I do hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my <laughs> two of my previous videos here, and uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I will see you soon.